What up, everyone? My name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer. Hey, okay. Hey, everyone. What's up? My name is Jennifer, and I am Waitress. In today's video, we're going to open a bottle of champagne correctly, or as correct as possible. As correct as possible. All right, so this actually isn't champagne because why I covered this in another video because I'm cheap so this is a bottle of Prosecco same deal same cage okay so uh, according to the court of master sommeliers you open the cage with your wine key but really there's a little tab right here so if you're gonna open it for uh, a table maybe you could use this guy to just start you know this uh, twisty pants can we call it a twisty pants? I really like to do that. All right, you're gonna put all this garbage in your pocket, in your apron pocket. I don't have an apron on, so I'm putting it on my kitchen table. All right, and then we have the cage. So, the cage is wire. See, it's just a, a thing. It's just a thing. So we're gonna, un we wanna keep the label pointed towards the customer as often as possible. So we're going to untwist the cage and wow, you know what's super important is having your thumb on the top because this can come out at 50 miles an hour and apparently people die every year from getting whacked in the head with a champagne cork. There's so many stupid ways to die. So, uh, so we want to keep the top on and then for me I'm right handed and I just undid it with my right hands. So I'm going to transfer it over to this side with the uh, thumb staying on the top. And then you just twist, you twist, but you also fight to keep the cork in because once that sucker is going to come out, how many miles per hour? 50 it can come out. So we just kind of like fight the battle. You don't want to balance it on your knee because that looks bad. So uh, I don't know if I'm in the thing here, but I'm twisting. Okay, and I'm twisting back and forth, mostly, oh shit, I did it wrong. It's not supposed to make that noise. It's supposed to go tss. but you, you see the importance of fighting to keep it back in the, in the, in the neck of the bottle. So I'm going to try to defend myself right now. I think if I had had the leverage of being down here, but I really wanted you to see it, so whatever. Write your shitty comment, that's fine. Um, when you present, you are going to present the cork to the customer. Not the cage. Not the cage. You can put the cage in your pocket and you're just going to present this to the customer. You, did you know, uh, you see how this mushrooms out? You can tell that this champagne bottle is relatively new because it it blooms out. If this was a, oh, I keep calling it champagne, it's not. It's cheap Prosecco. Um, if, but still, same rules apply. If this had been old, if it had been in here for seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever years, this would be smushed down and it'd be one size. Because from years and years of being molded in this position, it would lose its shape, but it still has this buoyancy. So, Corks. Um, it, you know what? If you sign up for my newsletter, I have a an email that comes out about cork. You don't care, do you? It's it's pretty cool, I think. So uh, consider signing up for my newsletter. Definitely go to my website and take the quiz to see how much you know about champagne and read my article. And I have another uh, video about champagne, just really quick you know, rapid fire information. So that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm sorry it popped. I am so not cool. All right. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.